Welcome back to Melonic Art. My name is Mickey. So I think I'm gonna do like a part two today and including this, um, what I bought big, I was inspired by trying to find a color combination of like a deep purple, a gold, and um, some kind of dark green. And I think I found the dark green in, um, in like this perlene green. I really like it. I also like Sennelier's, um, I think it's a green umber, which is very similar to this. Um, but what inspired me to buy these was meet the hunt for those colors. And um, actually, I can't even remember what I bought. Sorry for the noise. But I got some more Daniel Smith. I got all inspired and I wanted to add to my collection of Daniel Smiths. I only have a very few that I'm showing here and I got, oh I got a bigger one. I didn't even know that I got a bigger one of those. Okay, I thought they were all five milliliters. So we got quinacridone burnt scarlet Quinacridone purple, um, Thalo blue red shade, which I don't have, now I do, um, a green appetite genuine, and a permanent yellow deep. So this kind of goes with my, my search for the purple green gold, but I also wanted to grab a couple more uh, things that I didn't have. And I want to swatch them out for you um, to just see what they look like. So I'm going to open these up, put them in pans and I'll meet you afterward because I'll be doing that in a time lapse. It just takes a long time. Okay, so they're all pretty ready by now. I tried to let a little bit of film dry over the top of them because it, sometimes it's better result. Well, the reason why I do it, oh, that one's completely wet still. <laughs> the reason why I do it is because I want to see what it will be like when they're dry, but I don't know, maybe that's just not working for me. <laughs> So here's the red shade of Thalo. It's really nice and deep. I like that. That's still pretty Thalo though. Thalo blue. I do see that it's a little bit red. Kind of reminds me of a very transparent um, ultramarine blue. Just going to really wash my brush. This brush, by the way, is a Crayola brush. I use it all the time. <laughs> has a really great point to it. It's synthetic, cheap, it's only like two dollars. <laughs> but it works. So I always grab it. So next is quinacridone purple. And I am going to kind of bring this down a little bit. And grab some more. And I'm going to kind of kiss the side there to see what they kind of look like together. So they're not really blending all that much into each other. Just, just noting that it's not, this thalo is not overpowering the Quinn purple. So here's the permanent yellow deep and yes, this is exactly what it's looking for. So this is the gold, I mean, either in this or like a new gamboge kind of yellow I was looking for, where it kind of goes to like, oh, I think I've got some blue in there. Oops. Where it goes to this really orange and then it, it colors, uh, fades out to like a nice buttery yellow, which is exactly what I wanted. So yes, on this yellow gold color, permanent yellow deep, 
So this was a curiosity for me, this Quinic Room Burnt Scarlet. I've never, I don't think I have it. Pier 206. Looking at my list up here, I don't have this one. This reminds me of a red, red brown. And I don't have it. So I really like this. I wonder if there will be any color shift. Because the red browns that I have um, shift to this darker, more muted color when it dries. This is really nice. I like this. Quinn Burnt Scarlet. You know what? I think this is a really good set I've got going on here. I might use this as a limited palette set for a little while. This and the other one. I'm kind of I'm doubling up on my sets right now. So I gotta stop buying paint for a little bit. So this is uh, Green Appetite Genuine. I like it because it is a, um, a genuine color. There's, there's, um, it's a Primatech, I believe, which means it's a natural pigment. Uh oh, I forgot to tape it down. And it's beautiful granulation in there. So yeah, what do you think? I really, I really like these. I like them all together. I think this was a really, see I tried to think through what I would need if I were to compile a small set. That's whenever, I try to do that whenever I buy little um, bunches of them. And those two are bleeding, any, the, the quinacridone purple is actually taking over thalo blue, which is really curious. But look at that, that's really interesting how that's separating and it's only Green Appetite Genuine. Hmm. Very nice. I'd like to paint something with this. And um, thanks. let me just dry this first and we'll come back and see what they look like completely dry. And then I'll do a painting with them. <laughs> 